Hey, what's up everybody? Frankie Slauson here for, well, the second and final part of my a little, my last video while living here at my parents' place. Um, you know, I guess the one thing I can definitely say that it's hard to believe <coughs> that, well, because originally, like I said, I was going to move in the summertime, and that's still going to happen as far as moving to uh, the, the town that I plan on moving to, but Thief River has always, you know, has always been a, a, a good area for me. I mean, I've never once ever hated the town. It's always been, it's always been a, a great town to, to be in and be a part of, so to be, to, to go back, I guess, for the third time, I guess, in my entire life to live over there, but this time live with a, you know, stay with a friend rather than being by myself, uh, I think will be a lot of fun. So I uh, can't wait to take you guys, you know, with me for the for the journey. Anyway, uh, the next video that I do now, I know a lot of people were asking for me to uh, do a video based on uh, my move, like probably kind of like how Sean and MJ did, you know, when they went to when Sean moved to California. <clears throat> but you see, the thing is, is that my destination is not across the country. Uh, or you know from one coast to the other mine is just simply 40 miles away and that's it <laughs> and there really isn't much that I can show or that you haven't seen before from previous videos or whatever or landscape you know it's pretty much the same it's pretty flat around here there really isn't a whole lot if you want to see real beauty you gotta go like to a state park or something and, or go to an area that has a lot of lakes or whatever Minnesota is known for to be in the state with the land of 10,000 lakes, but we don't really have many around here. Uh, especially when I drive from, you know, Greenbush to Thief River, there is no lakes. Unless we've got a lot of rain and the ditches are full of water or something. But anyway, so I'm not going to do the, the, the montage for my video of when I move. But what I, what I will do is do like a like a, like a little retrospect, give you guys kind of a tour of what I do get there and when everything's all moved in. I probably won't happen right away, but within the week I will show you guys my new place. That's what I'll do. If the destination was a little bit farther than 40 miles, then I would probably would uh, do like a, a montage of from the beginning, from saying goodbye to Greenbush, and then going on, you know, going ahead and videotaping some great stuff, but. Like I said, most of the stuff that you know that I've taped, or that I would tape, you've seen before. So, if you follow my videos, if you haven't followed any of my videos, then I guess well, you should have luck. I guess. <laughs> okay, well, as I mentioned in the, in the first part of the video, I did get some packages in the mail. Uh, there still is a package that I'm waiting for. Obviously, it's the Around the Country movie. Uh, this is what happened. I, I ordered off Create Space. And when Sean first announced it on Facebook that the uh, video was available through CreateSpace, uh, I said, okay, well, I'll go through CreateSpace and then order it. And two days after I ordered it online, then he tells me, or then they say that the that now it's available on Amazon as well. And I was like, motherfucker, you know. <laughs> uh, and if I would order off Amazon, it would have been here already. That's where I got these two movies that I'm going to show you. Uh, the create space I haven't got it yet. It's been only, it'll be two weeks on Friday. They say now it's gonna be uh, it's on its way, but it's like, why is it taking longer to go through create space than it does Amazon? I'm thinking most of the people went through Amazon. That's why like people like Shane Jensen and a few other people have already gotten their copies already. So I don't know. I did watch Shane Jensen's latest Friday Night Ritual video. And I think there, he was talking about that he, that uh, Sean and MJ give credit, like they thank a, a few YouTubers or whatever uh, for just, you know, being, being viewers and stuff like that. I don't know if, if I wonder if he, if they mentioned anything about me. If you guys have seen the, the video or the, the Around the Country movie, let me know. Or maybe let me be surprised. Because <laughs> I'm kind of curious because they mentioned, I heard some of the people that they mentioned, which is the typical people like Shane Jensen, what movie won, uh... Perry Hormel and Tom Rurkoff and all that stuff. But I'm just kind of wondering if they 
if it mentioned about Frankie, Frankie Slauson here, because <laughs> we've done a lot of stuff together as well. So anyway, so the first thing I'm going to show you before I get you to the two movies is that uh, I went to Walmart and I went and got a CD because I've been trying to, you know, collect music and stuff, mostly from soundtracks or whatever. I used to have a huge CD collection back in the day. But then I sold it because I was, you know, I needed money for rent and all that stuff. And I just, it was a different time. And, you know, the friend that I sold it to, it's nice enough so once in a while to let me have a few others. Like if there's some CDs that I know that he won't listen to or whatever, from what I sold him, he, was, he just will just give them back to me. So that's pretty pretty nice. But I've been kind of trying to get a mix of uh, uh, music, you know. And like I got the Super Bad soundtrack. I got the Eddie and the Cruisers. One or two soundtracks, the Batman soundtracks, you know, both Ghostbusters soundtracks now. There's still a bunch that I, I definitely do want, and I will get during the holidays and stuff like that while I'm still saving some money and whatnot so I can move to Grand Forks. But uh, until then, I, I found this uh, CD for $5, and it's called Time Flies, the Best of Huey Lewis and the News. It has pretty much 16 of their greatest hits. Uh, well, I... Probably not all their hits, but there's there's a few that is missing. Obviously, it has like you know the hard rock and roll, the power of love, working for a living, stuck with you, and I want a new drug. Uh, of course, want a new drug was that controversial song that everyone said sounded a lot like uh, the Ghostbusters theme song. Anyway, and it does a little bit, but not totally. Uh, the only one that they're missing. Uh, uh, let's see, there's, there's a couple that they're missing. Because this was made in 1990, or put together in 1996 from Electrica, Electrica Entertainment. And they're missing that song, Back in Time. Because they got the song, po The Power of Love, in here. But Back in Time is what they're missing. Uh, and then, uh, I think the song called Whole Lot of Love as well. Yeah. Off their four album. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Best of Huey Lewis the News. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's pretty good. I mean, for, you know, 80s music and stuff. All right. Now, it's what people are waiting for. <laughs> I was going to wait another day. I was going to wait till tomorrow just to see.